My bag time, got a few things here. I know what's in here. This will be interesting. Ow. Just stabbed myself for what was in the. What's done? What did you do that for? Something sharp sticking out. Got stuck in my fingers, I was trying to rip it open. Loads of buttons. There are buttons. Blue ones, grey ones with LEDs. So the blue ones are no LEDs, yellow are no LEDs, red are no LEDs, grey are no LEDs, black are no LED, and green with LED. So I've used these on a project which I'm going to be building some more soon. I needed some more buttons for that, and also getting a bit low on some of these other ones which I already had in stock. Always like that spares. A lot of the ones I got before were all this type of the LED on them, and I didn't actually need to have an LED on them all. So only the green one here is the one which needed the LED on it. Other ones didn't need them. And this is a standardised kind of footprint for these switches, it's quite common. This little style switch has been used for decades. Like these switches are actually on my calibrator. Obviously probably a better quality version, but they're there. I think I've got even more coming, I'm pretty sure. Right, a bunch of female hitters. These are right angle ones. So it's sort of got the pins at a right angle to the actual face which is here okay so you can put these on a PCB and lay them flat down I wanted this for a project which I have got to do a video about yet which I must not forget to do a video about because it's sponsored by PCBWay I need these for that and for some reason I got inspired to buy a whole bunch of these connectors like this as well Full edge connectors. So you mount these on a surface or bolt them onto something maybe or PCB mount them even in this case. And it gives you a full edge connector here so you can plug a board into it. I've got a few different ones, different sizes, or different pinouts for example. I just realised that I didn't actually have any of these and it's been times I kind of would have been handy to have one. So I've got myself a little selection of these. Just a few so I've got some. But uh, yeah. Now I've got them. And I think I know what's in here. Pretty good idea what's in here. I'm not certain though. I believe this is a review item. It is a review item. So Miniwear got hold of me, or E-Design, whatever you want to call them, either way, I think E-Design is the main company, Miniwear is the brand, I think. They got hold of me and said, hey, we've got this thing coming, and would you like to review one? I went, yeah, sure. So they've sent me this. And they sent me this. So you've got the Smart Digital Monitor, NDP MO1, which I think is used on different devices. I think it says even, this might even work with the... Um, power supply they sent me last time. I'm not sure, I need to re research this a bit more. I was waiting until they arrived before I actually looked into it more. Here is a DC electronic mode. NDP L1060, brand new to the market. I've been told I can't release this video until after a certain date. Yeah, I think it's 18th of April, I think I was allowed to release on something like that, so you'll be seeing this video after that. And I'll be doing a review on both of these items once I've had a play around with them, got used to them. That should be good. Excellent, thank you much of anywhere. There'll be links for these things down below and also for the review video when I do that one, I'll put links down below for that as well. So watch out for those. And we've got this big box. I always do the biggest box last. A slightly rough trip, it's a bit squashed, but we'll see how we go. Polystyrene packaged, it's looking promising then. It's a welding helmet. 
Now I've already got a welding helmet, but this one's different. This one is a automatically tinting one. So normally you have to have, like, have a fixed tint lens and it you flip the helmet down when you want to weld and stuff like that, right? Well this is different, as in you can set this up and it automatically tints the glass. So you can see through it normally and as soon as you start welding it automatically goes dark. Um, you know, within a certain fraction of a second, you know, quick enough so it doesn't damage your eyes, sort of thing. And, um, yeah, hope you actually, does actually do that. So there's the model number there. So you've got sensitivity adjustment, shading, and delay. With also some other switches here. I've got no idea how to use this yet, I threw the manual on it. But I've been meaning to get something like this for a long time now. Because it's just so much easier to have an automated darkening welding helmet than not having one because it's always a pain trying to do welding when you can't see what you're doing and you have to have really bright lights on the work to try and see how you're lining up with like the arc rod or whatever you're doing let's get one of these, I mean these are cheap these days, you can get these quite cheaply um, so why not? So here's the manual for it, let's have a quick look at it I'm not going to read it, I'm just going to flick through the pages and you can have a read if you want to I'll read it myself later on Like I said, I've been meaning to get my license for ages. There you go. Links down below. So here is the actual auto darkening piece here, which goes in the helmet. So the front of it looks like. And I see there's the rear part. And you put a battery in here. And it's already got one. It's a CR2450. Nice. How do I turn it on off? I don't know. Maybe it's automatic. No idea. This thing's actually active all the time. So you can just see through it here, wiggling my finger there. And if I light up on the sensor, there you go, it's gone dark. And again. It's got a little delay on there for it shuts back off again. So yeah, that's definitely working. I just hope it goes dark enough. So don't forget to check out links down below. And subscribe over here if you're not already subscribed. And there's a Patreon support link over there if you want to donate to the channel, hoping to buy a bit of mailbag or best test gear to fix. Get you later.